I'm going to take you through the XC Trader MT4 Next Gen Trade Terminal. To activate the Trade Terminal, simply drag and drop it from your list of expert advisors onto the chart. Click OK. And you can see a new terminal window loads up here for us. It's very feature rich, so I'm going to take you through each feature step by step. So, first of all, you have your little uh, buy and sell tickets here. They are going to display in this window whatever is in your market watch. So if you want to add or remove from the market watch here, you add or remove from the market watch here. On each ticket you can see you have your lots, your trade size, stop loss, trading stop, distance, take profit, you can buy, you can sell, and you have your spread. You can also see if you had a position, you have a figure up here like we do in the AUD JPY, telling us our net open position. And we also have the ability to open up a order template, so either a new order, and you can see that here, new order using different money management rules here. If we want to risk 1% of our account, for example, you can place the order or save it as a template. You can also go in and choose from pre-built templates. So these are templates that I've created in the past. You click on symbol information. Symbol information tells you the pip size, etc. Pip point, uh, value per pip is also very important. That tells you how much in your base currency, how much the, you're going to make or lose for per pip movement. And then you can go in and, I won't do it now, but you can click and open a new chart for the symbol you're looking at here. Now on the right hand side we have our account info, so as well as displaying the info here, what's neat is you can add an alarm. So we click on the icon and that lets us put an alarm on the different account criteria we have. So alarm on balance, so if our balance falls below a certain amount or is greater than a certain amount, you can set an alarm. The alarm can send an email, it can close all orders or close all charts. Closing all charts will stop any EAs you have running from working. You can turn the alarm on and off. Okay, so very useful. What you might want to do is think about the different elements in your trading plan like that you want to set up alerts on. So you might have a rule in your trading plan that says if I'm down by 2% for a day, I'm going to um, stop trading. So you can send an alert on that 2%, for example. And then we have down the bottom here, we have our open and pending orders, which has a lot of functions to it as well. You can see here, we can make it disappear. So if when you first open it, if you, if you can't see it here, you just can click here, it will pop open. Or if you want it to stay open, click on the right hand side, the little arrows here. We can go through, we can view our window by open positions, pending orders, all orders. We have close functions, so you can close all. Close all open positions, delete any pending orders, close all winners and close all losers. So just some neat shortcuts there. We have tools, so you can add a partial close or partially close a all orders in one go if you want to reduce your position sizes, add stop losses, take profits, add trading stops, set up a break even exit. You can also use automated close. Automated close is very powerful. If we, shall bring it up using this one here, create automated close on a particular order. You can set these as templates, but for example, what you might say is when its profit and pips is greater than 50. I want to close 30% of my trade. And then I might say, and then I want to set the stop loss to 50 pips. And then I might add even another rule. So I want when net profit is greater to or equal than, when, oh, we want order profit in pips is greater than, or greater or equal than 100 pips, I'm going to close another. 30% and I'm going to run a trading stop on the remainder of the order for uh, 30 pips behind the market. Okay, so you can see very powerful automation rules here.
for discretionary traders and then we can apply the rule and remember we can save that as a template so that each time you do open an order you can just reload a template and you don't have to go through setting that up each time so very cool over here we have some tools oh, sorry we just went through that before we have the OCO or OCA group so to create an OCA group um, oh, I don't have it set up here so what you can do is if we if we create some pending orders let me just go and do that okay I'm just going to create a couple of orders here and they need to be pending orders obviously so place order so I have those pending orders here and then I can go and I can create an OCA group so what I can do is I can choose if one order is executed it can cancel other orders and you can do this for any order so typically a, a OCO order cancels the trade on the same currency pair so you might have a buy and a sell and if the buy is entered it cancels the sell but with an OCA group you can have it cancel trades on different currency pairs now you might want to do that because you only want to take a set amount of trades in your account at any one time so the first three limit orders to get executed you want to keep um, or you might be trading correlations and once the first order is executed you you don't want to place any more because you want to manage your risk on the trades so that's creating an OCA group so again a very useful uh, feature for a certain type of trader you can summarize your orders by different criteria here just give you some quick insights and in the settings you can undock the terminal so if I want to take this outside MT4 and put it elsewhere on my desktop I can easily do that by clicking undock the terminal you can see here we have a, a variety of information on the uh, trades itself so we can close by pressing the X so that's a very quick way to close we can edit the order here so we can quickly add a stop loss we can add a take profit or a trailing stop just really quickly or we might decide on this trade we want to move our stop loss to break even okay so those little actions and then you can see the different information that is displayed here there's a little bit more information on this particular window here than or order open and pending orders window then on the traditional MT4 order window okay so that's the AxiTrader MT4 next gen trade terminal